Do you have a, an empty system? Copper shop. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. It looks like you're new posted here, right? Yes, yes, I am. Okay, yeah, government key. Yes, okay. Yeah, no, you can use the system. Oh, okay, thank you. Right. Thank huh? you, thank you very much. Yeah. yeah. Hello? Mama? What is this? I don't know you. I don't know you. I can't allow you to your sister. What? Where? 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 Hello, mom. Hello, hello. Hey, bros. Yes. What's happening? I hope everything is okay. My mother just called to tell me that a motorbike hit my younger sister. I'll, I'll try to find oh, wow. this man. It will not be better for him. Okay. Did, she, did you want to kill my daughter for me? This man. She was just crossing the road from the stream where she went to fetch water. And this useless and reckless Okada boy hit her. And the man did not even get any major injury. Only my daughter. God will punish him. He will not die well. Okay, it's okay, Mama Jai. She's alive. The most mm. important thing is alive. Okay. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. Let's wait for the extra first. You know what, Mama? Uh -huh. Mama, it's, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. okay. It's okay. Like she just said, let's wait for the extra results. Okay. And pray for her recovery. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Eh? It's okay. <laughs> Getting late. You should go home and take care of your younger ones. Be okay. Good night. My mother never wanted me to play football when I was a kid. Uh -huh. I, I don't know why. Wow. So this whole thing. These politicians. See, that's they are liars. All wicked people. What? All they ever do is to tell lies. They make all sorts of campaign promises. But at the long run, they don't fulfill their promises. What are you talking about? I'm talking about this man. This man. He is our representative. Oh, he's your representative. Don't mind these people. They keep saying that they're our representatives, but they're busy there representing themselves. Don't mind them. Of course, that's what they do. Do you know during his campaign, he promised bringing water to this community six months after he attains office. Wow. Till date, we haven't seen anything. Wow. So he has become a big boy now. He's living in a big city, driving a big car with tinted glasses, Abby. I will show you his old house. He's from around here? His old house is just by the corner. Three months after attaining office, he transformed the house. Wow. The only people that get to see him are the, the leaders, you know, the clergymen, people of that class. We, the youths that voted him, we don't get to see him, not at all. If you want to see him, they always tell us that, uh, come back next time, uh, he's having a meeting, this or that. That's what they normally say. And the next thing, he's in the city. He won't come back to the, to the community again. But you know what? He's definitely coming back. He's coming back for votes next time. And we'll show him. We'll so show him, eh? All we ask of this man is water. Nothing more. Water. Put in your password and you can just log in. Yeah. Hey, hey Kiba. Jay, how you doing? Fine. Yeah. How are you today? Very good. Yeah. Yeah. Um, nine pages from oh. this. Yeah. How's your sister doing? I hope she's recovering well. We need to move her to a bigger hospital. Even though some of my family members and the owner of the Okada have contributed some of the money, but I just wish I had a better job. So, so when next are you going to see her? Because I would like to come too. In fact, I would even like to give a little contribution. <laughs> you, <laughs> government picking. 
you need contributions from me, Jerry. Don't worry, we'll be fine. No, seriously, I would like to contribute something, no matter how small, I would like to contribute something. How is your mom coping with it? The old woman is stretched out. You know, she's been taking care of us since our father died. I have a diploma, but I couldn't continue with my education due to lack of funding. So I had to get this job. I'm not complaining though. At least we're managing. If not for this accident, it costs because we don't have water in our community. Yet we have representatives. God will punish them. You can't continue complaining about your representatives and cursing them out. It's not going to change anything. Before I came for youth service, I was volunteering with a youth organization. And I didn't get it then, but the leader said something. He said that we have to engage our, our leaders, you know. Instead of sitting down at, at home and, and complaining, we have to engage them with our concerns. In fact, you can even use your sister's case as, as a perfect example. Use, write a letter to your representative and, and tell him about what happened to your sister also. Right. Yes. Why do I have to write? Why? Who even told you he's going to read it, let alone do something about it? Ah, I think you should write to... He's your representative. Shebi, you voted for him and put him into office. Ah, even if you didn't vote for himself, isn't he your rep? It is our job, our responsibility to hold them accountable for their actions in office and for, for keeping campaign promises. It is our responsibility to do that. So I, I, In fact, who even told you that he won't read your letter? I think you should write him, honestly, Jay. Even though uh, you should give me some time, though, to write an email to the organization I volunteered with so that they will advise us on what to do. Well, if you insist, I'll write. But this NGO thing you're talking about, do you have to email them? Are they important? Well, from the little I understand about NGOs, they are supposed to be... They are set up by people that are concerned, you know, about different social issues. You know, they set up these organizations and they interface with the government and communities to better the communities. You know, so I actually feel that that uh, they are a very huge resource for us to tap from and, and that their advice is, is very valuable. I've heard. Jaro, come and see you. These people have responded to us concerning this uh, water issue we're talking about. What? The NGO is referring us to another NGO in our community called Youngsters to Work With. Do you know them? Yeah, I think I do. I used to pass there sometimes. Okay. But I've already sent the mail to the Honorable. Sorry, I didn't tell you. Ah. Let me just get a copy of it. Hmm? But I What's thought... Ah. Oh, wow, which I hear you. You might have sent the letter. No, 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 Jay, no! You're not supposed to write to your representative like this. This is very rude. Nah, man. How could you write him like this? It's not going to give you any result. But I thought we agreed you were going to contact me before talking to these people about this matter. What insolence. What an insult. Can you imagine a so-called youth in my own community writing me such a stupid letter? <laughs> Actually, sir, when we saw that letter, we talked about you in Italy, but you know you warned that every letter from your constituency comes to you, whether good or bad. Yes, I know I did. Yes, and please, do not disobey that instruction. You understand that? Yes, sir. They are from my constituency. I represent them. All letters that come into this office, I must read them all. But this, not, not this insult. This is rubbish. Do they know I spent the whole of last week speaking to the commissioner for water on this same issue? And I've also succeeded in placing this same issue in next year's budget appropriation bill? Hmm! Hmm! 
<laughs> For God's sake! Well, the harm has been done. I've already sent it. And he deserves this for abandoning us. No apologies. Have you ever heard the melody playing through your soul? I have, I have. Have you ever heard the melody playing through your soul? I have, I have It's time to face the music It's time to paint a picture No more procrastination Let's build our tomorrow We must not be divided We have to stand together Holding hands To make a new Nigeria Have you ever heard the clarion call shouted from the sky? I have, I have. Have you ever heard the melody playing through your soul? I Kiba. Welcome again. Thank you very much, sir. So how was it, volunteering for the NGO? Oh, it was very, very good. I, I learned so much. It was very educative about governance, especially. Uh, in fact, that's why we are here with uh, Jairo right now. Jairo, welcome. Thank you. So, uh, Kiba, I got your email that you sent about uh, engaging with your representative, yeah. about bringing water into your community. Uh, that would be... Jairo. <laughs> yes, sir. Sir, if you've lived in this community for a while, you know that water has always been a problem. If not for the rich people who were able to sink borehole, it's always not easy. Well, a few weeks back, my younger sister went to fetch water in the stream and she was hit by a motorbike. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I mean, uh, how... How is, how is she? Uh, where is she at? Well, she's in the hospital. Our father is late and our mother is a petty trader. <sighs> Things have not been easy for us. Yes. But my anger here is our honorable, I mean the honorable from our community, has not been able to fulfill his campaign promise. He said exactly six months after attaining office, he's going to bring water to us. But this is a year plus and nothing is happening. I... Hmm. Jeremy, what do you want to do and uh, how can we help you? Sir, we're here to solicit your help. Just help us find the way we could get to him so that he'll bring water to the community. That's all we need. Okay. This is what I'm going to advise you to do. You're going to write a letter stating everything that you just told me. And you're also going to request in that letter for our assistant in helping you with the process. All right? And uh, once you've done so and received the letter, we will go over it and get in touch with you. Is that all right? Okay. Uh, there's something else though, sir. Um, yes. This is a letter that Jairo wrote to his uh, representative. And I thought you should know about it. <sighs> I need not go further. <laughs> oh, you youth and your energy. <laughs> Jairo, this is some letter you sent out. I understand your frustration, but if there's one thing I've learned in my few years of engaging with, uh, especially engaging with elected officials, is to never go at them with a confrontation. Rather, you find an interesting or positive way to get their attention. 
that way, at least you have the chance of having your case heard and got, getting the audience that you need. I mean, with, I know water is an important factor to everyone, but with this letter, do you think you're going to get the much needed audience that you need with the honorable members to plead your case? I just realized that, sir, and that is why we're here. We want you to advise us on, on what to do. <sighs> All right, this is what we're going to do. You're going to write a letter apologizing for your behavior, okay? And once you've done that, in fact, before you send that letter out, please make sure that uh, I review it. Okay. And then we'll go from there. Is that okay? Yeah. yeah. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Excuse me, your boss is kind, but you look a lot more kinder. First of all, my name is Jairo. I'm a very sociable guy and I'm ready to mingle. Okay, Jai, nice to meet you. Um, Kappa, please, can you see your friend on? Thank you. Uh, you didn't tell me your name, so when next I come, I'm inventing one for you. And um, like I was just saying, you... Need Stand together, holding hands to make a new Nigeria. Okay, okay, sir. Shouted from the sky. All right, so let's summarize this, Philip. You will be the contact person for them during the duration of this project, all right? Ameka will assist you. Um, I want this to be a learning experience for them also. I want them to take action. If it's anything, we'll guide them along the way, okay? And the letter of apology will be redrafted and sent out this week, right? Okay. With that being said, um, I think we should go over our checklist and make sure we are all on the same page. First, we have all agreed the, about bringing water into the community, correct? Okay. And then secondly, we also agreed that uh, our long-term goal is bringing in pipe-borne water. And our short-term goal is sinking in boreholes, correct? Thirdly, we need to frame the issue so that it would draw a lot of attention from everyone, including the honorable members. Okay? And you too, have, I will assign you with, uh, with the task of uh, naming this project. Okay. And I guess our fourth agenda for this project, we need to gather up enough information, do research on what resources are available to explore within or outside our means, okay? That means going to get information from the Ministry of Finance, Ministry of Water Resources, uh, local government council. At least the freedom of uh, information is available to us. So we should get all the information that we need for this. And the last other business for the day, once we have compiled all of that information, we'll be able to formulate it and use it to put our plan into action. Okay? All right. With that being said, I guess uh, we're all good and ready to go. Anything else from anybody? No. Okay. You come Thanks, man. Hi. Uh, excuse me. Um, it's nice working with you on this project, Miss World Amaka. Yes, just work. Yes, work. I, I, I need your phone number uh, for consultation, especially when Philip is not available. Okay. 
Sit. Yeah, you can just write it here. It's time to face the music. It's time to paint a picture. No more procrastination. Let's build our own tomorrow. We must not be divided. We have to stand together, holding hands to make a new Nigeria. You know what? I am mobilizing powerfully to bring water to this community. You will see what will happen if my plan works. Yeah, when it works. Brother Jairo, we are praying for you so it will work. Kiba, thanks for being such a help. We appreciate you. It's my pleasure. This is interesting. The same youth has sent us an apology letter and is also saying that they are organizing themselves to sink boreholes in our community. That's good. <laughs> Sir, I think the Young Star Foundation are the one engaging them on this. I also think they are the one advising them on this. Because the letter written is more mature. I agree with you. And do you know what? I want you to do a follow-up with the Ministry of Water Resources. Investigate thoroughly this Youngsters Foundation NGO. Make sure you get a thorough check on their background and their history. This will help us in formulating our response to their request. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, let's hear all the updates. I know we sent a letter out to the uh, honorable member. Have we gotten any response back from him yet? No? Oh, okay. Jairo, Kiba, I know you guys were in charge of uh, naming the campaign. Have you guys come up with anything yet? Yes, we have three options. There's the first one, Water is Life. The second one is Project Living Spring. And the third is Water for the Future. Okay, well, Jairo Kiba, thank you guys for your effort. So what do you guys think? Um, I think there's an NGO using Water is Life. Maybe we should do Living Spring. Um, I think I like Water for the Future, or we rephrase it a bit. Personally, I feel good about Water for Future, and I also think we can uh, make it Water for Future leaders. I like the fact that uh, water is in the word. Um, but I don't think the people want the water in the future. I think they want it now, as in today. So let's play around with that last option. Okay, then maybe we should do um, Access Water now. Um, yeah, but why not? Access Water 365 instead of now, as per all through the year. Fantastic. That's a good idea. Then it can be Access Safe Water 365 or Safe Accessible Water 365. All right, in that case, our 365 it is. Yeah. Oh. Yes. Okay. Yes. Well, now that we've got the name down for our campaign, um, let's move on to the next order of business. Mr. Philip, what do you have for me? Oh, um, <clears throat> on information gathering, 
First, I had to go to the State House of Assembly and the Ministry of Finance to access a copy of last year and this year's budget for the state. Um, there I found out that money was voted for boreholes. So I went to the Ministry of Water Resources um, to ascertain what they've done so far and if the community is among those to benefit. But they've not given me any proper information. Also, I went to the local government area council to get more information, but they are not feeding me anything, but I intend to visit them again. Please, I need you to go there again and again, okay? Because with the Freedom of Information Law, we should be able to get all the information necessary. Okay. All right? Yeah. And if this is implemented in the budget, we need to push it through until uh, it is implemented. I want you to go over to the State Ministry of Water Resources and see what other information is there available to us, okay? Amaka, what do you have I visited the state MDG's office, and in this current year, they seem to be funding some healthcare projects. But I was asked to come back to meet with someone that would show me the list of their funded projects in the last three years, because they seem to be having some ongoing contracts. And usually they work with NGOs to monitor their contractors implementing their projects. So if there is any water project situated here, we shall find out. Good. Because in the next two weeks, we need to get up get up all of the information that we can in order for us to move to our next level of engagement, which is community buy. Um, we need to print flyers and uh, sensitize the community. Jeremy, I believe that is your community, so I will let you lead the sensitization awareness. Amanda, I would like you to command a Facebook uh, campaign. The more we get talking about this, the better. If we can get the help of a local DJ, let's do that too, okay? And we'll write the, we'll write the proposal and send it on to the, the honorable member, and let him know about all the information that we have gathered, and uh, we, we want to work with him in bringing in uh, water into the community. Hopefully we should get a better response from him. So, would you like your stars to go ahead and do that, or Jaro, would you, do you have someone else in mind? No, sir. But I, we could just use youngsters. All we need is water in the community. That's all. Let's build on tomorrow. We must not be divided. We have to stand together, holding hands to make a new Nigeria. Hello? I still can't flow. The essay is not yet compelling. I feel like giving up already. Well, starting is always a challenge, and success is an edge way. So you need to work very hard to get to the edge. You just have to sit down and think deeply. If there's an interest, I'm sure something is going to spring out of you. Look. There's an essay in me so much that I'm, I'm so confident, you know, I'm, I'm so sure that you're going to win. It's time to face the music, it's time to paint a picture, no more procrastination. Let's build our own tomorrow, we must not be divided, we have to stand together holding hands. Hello, Kiba. Jai, you won't believe this. They just mentioned Sour 365 on radio right now, honestly. Wow. Guy, I'm excited. I can't even explain it to you. Yeah. To paint a picture. No more procrastination. Let's build on tomorrow. We must not be divided. We have to stand together holding hands. To make a new Nigeria Have you ever heard the clarion call Shouted from the sky I have, I have Have you ever heard the melody Playing through your soul I have, I have It's time
time to face the music. It's time to paint a picture. No more procrastination. Let's build our own tomorrow. We must not be divided. We have to stand together, holding hands to make a new Nigeria. Have you ever heard the sound of birds chirping in the night? I have, I have. Guys, I'm truly impressed and surprised about what you have done. You have brought real political process that is going to be beneficial to your community. I have been talking with the Minister of Water Resources. He has personally assured me that of the 50 water-based projects earmarked nationwide, one will be cited in your community. Thank you very much. I also wanted to inform you that the youth in the community will be very happy if you will be able to sink a borehole as your contribution. Oh, I would love to. I would love to. But let me tell you this. You see, as a member of parliament, my job is to take all your problems and take it to the parliament. And using it as a ground for formulating laws that will help in resolving these problems. I can sink you a bowl, but honestly, is this what you truly deserve? Through a legislative process, which is what you voted me for, I will be able to bring to this community not only boreholes, but also pipe burn water. And we will also make provisions to make sure that resources are made available for the implementation of these projects. So, my dear young men, the youths of our society, it is through your efforts that we have been able to achieve this task. Once again, I would like to apologize to you for not coming out with information so that you know exactly what I have been involved in and what I've been doing in all my efforts to bring water to this community. But nevertheless, every quarter, I will make sure that we have town hall meetings so that we can share ideas and brainstorm on issues that affect us. I will also visit your sister in the hospital. Thank you, sir. And I also like to introduce my constituency officer to you. He is going to be our contact person with you regarding the Sawa 365 project. Sir Jairo, please give our liaison officer the details of the hospital your sister is. Yes, sir. Thank you. Honorable member, we are very excited about this gesture from you. It is time that the uh, the civil society see themselves as uh, partners in progress with the government rather than as enemies. I mean, what we seek is cooperation and not uh, confrontation. So please feel free uh, to reach out to me anytime that you feel that there's something we can partner on within the community. And we will reach out to you for assistance or information when necessary. And once again, we'd like to say thank you very much for everything. My pleasure. Thank you. You're thank welcome. you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, by the way, who is coordinating the SAWA 365 project? I will want your contact details so that my constituency officer can keep in touch. Well, uh, uh, when it's time for it, um, I'm fully on ground, sir. You can contact me. Ah, uh, okay. Yes.
Thank you very much. Yes. Yeah. Jairo, I never knew you're not the coordinator of SAWA 365. I thought that the office ED asked you if you wanted our office to coordinate this. Yes, the office should coordinate and I'll be the leader. Is it not my project? Jairo, do you really think you have what it takes to lead this project? I think you should allow ED to lead it. You know, Shebi is what I want in your community. I, I, I don't think it makes a difference. Oh, so you're all together in it? You want to connive and take over my projects? And make it yours? Was it not my sister that was hit by a motorbike? Is it your sister? Look, if any of you is attempting to do that, please don't even go there. Because I won't let it be. I won't! What can't it be this? I don't want to know start to. Jai, I wasn't expecting what happened today. That was very rude of you accusing us trying to hijack your project. Not after what Edie has done. That was so very unappreciative. Excuse me. I thought you were on my side. Oh, because he's your boss. So you think you can just connive and take over my project and take the whole glory? Please, you shouldn't even try it. Gyro. Who are you threatening here? Okay, yes, your sister was involved in a motorbike accident. What was the most you made out of it? You wrote a stinking letter to the honorable member. What did you get out of it? What reply did you get? The same Kiba introduced you to us. And Edie helped you rearranging the letter you wrote to the honorable. And you dare stand there accusing us of trying to hijack your project? You know what? This is not the best place for me to be right now. Go! Yes! You can go! But you cannot hijack my project! Jai, I think you need to apologize to young stars, allow Edie to head this project, and you won't lose your credit. I say no. And you don't have anything better to tell me. Please don't call me again. Hello? Hello? Have you ever heard the sound of birds chirping in the night? I have, I have. Have you ever heard the melody playing to your soul? I have, I have. It's time to face the music. It's time to paint a picture. No more procrastination. Let's build our own tomorrow. We must not be divided. We have to stand together holding hands. To make a new Nigeria Not interested Mr. Leader Shouted from the sky I have, I have Have you ever heard the melody Playing through your soul Thank you very much, Commissioner. Thank you very, very much. So, I can now go and announce to the community that you will be sinking boreholes in our community, right? Confirmed, Honorable Member. Yes. Um, as I said, we have just finished due process and um, the contractor will be mobilized any moment from now. Say in two to three weeks, the equipment will be moved. Be committed to this, I assure you. <laughs> Especially now that you have interest. <laughs> Once again, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Jai, you can't be right and every other person is wrong. But honestly, you don't have office or anything. With all you think, do you think you would have met with the honorable member? See all what's happening now because of them. 
Bro, I think you need to call and apologize. And allow them lead. This whole thing is my initiative. I, I just can't sit down and watch someone take the whole glory. It's not done. Jerry. Even if the borehole is named after young stars, which I doubt, who would drink the water? Young stars or our community? Who will our community recognize for starting the process? Sister was hit by a bike. Come on. Prosperity will never forget you. You always say we need leaders who care more about the people than themselves. Here is an opportunity for you to show that such leaders exist. Yeah. Let's build our own tomorrow. We must not be divided. We have to stand together, holding hands to make a new Nigeria. Have you ever heard the clarion call shouted from the sky? I have, I have Ooh. Have you ever heard the melody Playing through your soul I have <laughs> What started a few months ago has given birth to a political process. A process that has brought huge democratic dividends to our community. I know prior to now in our community, we did not have a community borehole. But due to the efforts of SAWA 365, we now have eight. Eight boreholes have been sunk in our community. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is democracy in action. This is just the beginning. I promise you all, my dear people, that I will continue to make laws, laws that will affect you and impact you positively in all your endeavors. I will sponsor a bill in the house, a bill that will provide you with a better hospital and the hospital will be cited in our community. My dear young people, it is not just what you have done that I have seen, but the impact of what you have done, what we are celebrating today, wouldn't have happened if not for a group of young men who have brought themselves together to impact our community positively. They have used the right channels to put forward what they believe will be the best 
for our community. Ladies and gentlemen, today will not be possible if we did not have the cooperation of the leaders of this community. If we did not have the leaders of SAWA 365 in this community. But most importantly, there is a young man who have championed this cause. Please, ladies and gentlemen, help me in acknowledging the efforts of Mr. Gyro. You may be seated. Thank you. Mr. Gyro, I know you are a shy one, but please, this is your moment. We want to hear from you. Thank you, sir. Honorable member, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon, everybody. When my sister was hit by a motorbike, I was ridden by confusion and fear. But today, I look at it as a blessing in disguise. In the past, I used to curse and complain a lot. But thanks to my friend here, Kiba, he made me understand that the energy I use to curse and complain could be used to impact positive changes in the society. Today, I've learned that dialogue, not confrontation, can give you the fair chance of being heard. And that cooperation, not individualism, could make you achieve greater feats. But above all, the most important thing I learned is that it is a duty on the citizens of this country to cooperate and get themselves engaged with elected officials so as to achieve democracy dividends. That is the only way we can make our vote count. Once again, thank you all. The special people here, my family, honorable member, everyone. I'm so very grateful. And for my younger sister, I wish her a very quick recovery. Thank you all. Have you ever heard the melody playing through your soul? I have, I have. It's time to face the music. It's time to paint a picture. No more procrastination. Let's build on tomorrow. We must not be divided. We have to stand together holding hands. To make a new Nigeria Have you ever heard the clarion call Shouted from the sky I have, I have Have you ever heard the melody Playing through your soul to face the music It's time to paint a picture No more procrastination Let's build on tomorrow We must not be divided We have to stand together Holding hands To make a new Nigeria It's time to paint a picture No more procrastination Let's build on tomorrow We must not be divided We have to stand together Holding hands To make a new Nigeria
Oh, action, man. Let's see a driving action. Driving action. Okay. 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 Both of you, both of you are in shock. I am in shock. Yes, yes. Oh, uh, out now. Okay, let's go. Um, um, open the light bundle, please. Just want to get this light bundle. The light, the light. Okay, so let's summarize this. Hold on, hold on, let's go. And action! Okay, so let's summarize this. Huh? Philip, you will be the contact person for them on this project, right? Okay, sure. And Amaka? <laughs> what is the matter? Actually, then you continue writing. Don't do like it. 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 Don't what do you say, Lee? Bandage. Only my daughter. You want to kill my daughter? Yes. 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 Yo. Oh, what is this?